What's up guys? Welcome to one of my first videos on my new channel about um, classic computers and video games. In this video I'm going to talk about Atari 800 Win Plus emulator and I'll show you how, how to quickly install it on your computer. Um, before I start with the video, um, explaining everything step by step, um, I just want to tell you a couple of things about this project. So um, the channel will be a link to the website joystickcity.com and I'm going to start a series with Atari and I'll slowly move on to the other platforms so the plan is that Atari will be covered first and then I'll move on probably to Amiga and then other computers I'm just taking on this project just by myself that's why I'm I'm gonna have to go like this step by step so I'll be also keeping very everything very simple for you so I appreciate some uh, some help some feedback and then put the comments under my videos just put a comment on the website and now let me know what you think and what should I change okay let's get started with this tutorial uh, just go to um, um go to the joystickcity.com just go back to home page so I want to tell you I want to show you everything from um, from the beginning All right so just um go to the Atari menu once you're here go to Atari menu click on Atari emulator um, there's an article here about um, about the software, so just click on Read More. Scroll down to the Step 1 and grab that file here. Save it. Save it. ROM files. We're gonna need this, so just grab these at the same time. Save it. Right, once we have these, we can start with the installation. So just click on our file here. Next, agree, select the components. Next, destination folder. And finish and run it. So the emulator has started, but there's no ROM files. So the first thing you want to do, put the ROM files in here. So just go, um, go to your um, installation folder you can put it anywhere you want but I'm just gonna keep it here so I just wanna have everything in one place so just create um, create a folder here and one more folder for the games Right, open up ROM folder and grab all of these. Sorry, I'll grab all of these and just put them in, into the folder. Minimize, go to Atari, um, Atari menu, ROM images, and you upload all these files. We just put it there. Um, they're just right here. ROM. So this operating system A, this is Atari OS A dot ROM OB, OSB XLXE, that's the file here, 5200, and a basic. Click OK. There's a um, self-test screen coming up. So what you want to do next, ch change the, um, your graphic options, your display settings. Click on the graphic options and you choose your um, choose your display mode. I'm just going to go for that. 672 by 480 in a window. Okay. Next thing we, uh, you're going to have to do is um, configure your input, your joysticks. Just click on input, joysticks. And I'm um, just... If you have uh, like um, any USB device, you can just plug it in before you start the software, and um, you will see it on the list here on a drop-down list. So you just select it, and you can start using it. But um, I'm just gonna um, assume you don't have it, so I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna show you how to configure your key set. So just click on a key set A, and um, configure it here. Key, click on a key set here. Um, click OK. Already. Uh, configured some keyset before um, you can you 
can put anything you want you can put some arrows or um, anything you want pretty much just click on a box and um, it tells you to press the key for the north so I have it um, configured as num numpad 8 I'll leave it as it is and there's a fire button here so once you have that um, configured just click OK click OK again and um, we're gonna last thing we're gonna have to do just upload and <coughs> start some game upload some games into the into that software so just go back to the website um, go to the um, bottom sorry yeah go to the step 9 and just grab that file um, just save it to your desktop for the moment this, that's the file here, open your open your installation folder and go back uh, open the games folder, we're gonna keep all the games here just open that and just copy that file across right, uh, we can close that now we have to uh, we have to put this image, so we go to auto boot image file auto boot image um, go to that games folder click on a file we just uh, extracted and your game should just start automatically so um, just press F2 to start it and that's it and you have a key set configured so you can just uh, start playing it alright thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video